Hello everyone, Bob Green here. I'm going to tell you a story about a doctor that I used to go to when I was growing up. Um, her name was um, Betty Reed, Elizabeth Reed. Um, she lived in Butler, Ohio. And um, her um, entire family was all doctors. And uh, she lived in a big old um, house in Butler, Ohio, and um, had her um, office right there in her home. And you would go in there and you'd sit down in the parlor, and um, it was first come, first serve. And when it was lunchtime or dinner time, she would uh, take a break, and she would come back out, and she'd open up the door, and she would say, next. And... Um, you walked into this long, narrow room right off of the parlor there, and there was an old wooden examining table there, old scales that you stand on, one chair, and then the, her, her roll-top desk there with her wooden office chair, um, no computer at all, um, and the walls were, it had, it was an old house that the ceilings was probably like 15 foot high. And there was shelves lining the entire long wall of her exam room there that had pills. Just shelves and shelves of pills there. And, um, she would, um, I would go there for, you know, just nothing, nothing serious. Nobody went there for anything serious. Um. Just maybe something I might have needed an antibiotic for. And um, she loved to give penicillin shots. And I can't, I'm allergic to penicillin now. But um, she would give me a penicillin shot. Or she would get a little um, envelope. And put these little yellow antibiotic pills in it. That she had right there in her office. And um, she would... Look at my mom and say that would be that will be two dollars. Yeah, that's two dollars, <laughs> and that included the penicillin shot or the little envelope of um, pills. But anyways, um, after she passed away, um, they took her stuff um, from her home there. I'm sure they they auctioned off her home, but um, they opened a little museum right across the street from her house with her things in it and um she had a um she never married and she never left home that was the home that she grew up in and um she had a live-in housekeeper and that live-in housekeeper was her was her lover but um people just did not talk about that kind of thing back then they just said that she was an old maid and she and it was pretty believable because she was a very homely looking lady short with coke bottle glasses i remember her wearing white sandals with black socks i mean just a very eccentric lady but a very very good doctor with a photographic memory um her sister barbara reed had a um big house up on Park Avenue West in Mansfield, Ohio, and um, she had a doctor's office up there, and she was an old quack doctor, I mean terrible doctor, um, who had uh, cats that just jumped around on everything in her office and laid on everything, and um, the hippies used to go there to her and she would write out prescriptions for them to get these black beauty speed pills. Yeah, I'm a real quack there. Um, the only other thing I know about the the family is um, my grandmother said the brother um, used to be an on-call doctor at the Mansfield Med Central Hospital there, Mansfield General Hospital at the time, and she said she was there one time and. He came in there eating a mustard and onion sandwich on rye and asked her if she would like one. But just a very 
interesting, unique family of doctors. Just thought I would share that with you. All right, everyone. Have a blessed day.